Well, Agnos System is a European geostationary navigation or relay service that essentially makes more accurate and uh, available the GPS signal, making a correction of 10 times from 20 meter of a GPS signal in around 2 meters of the Agnos system. Let's say that Agnes architecture essentially is composed of two big segments, the, the space segment and the ground segment. The ground segment is essentially composed of 34 range integrity monitoring stations that are antennas that receive the GPS signals and send all information through the network to the MCC master control centers where we have the central processing facilities that make all the corrections and elaborations to make more accurate inter in integrity and continuity of the signal and sends information again to the three satellites of the geostationary space segment. So essentially the space segment is then composed of uh, all the GPS satellites and the three medium short range, mid, uh, mid range uh, geostationary satellites. We have even possible extensions of the EGNO system of the coverage even through a global implementation to the US WAS system and the MSAS of the East system. EGNOS will be used only in aviation field? Well, as a navigation uh, satellite service, it can be even used in terrestrial and maritime applications. This could help, essentially, to optimize logistic integrated processes for benefits to the whole country. It can even find a whole benefit in the search and research processes and tasks for rescuing emergencies. Which is the rule of ENAV in EGNOS? Well, ENAV's role in EGNOS is essentially the management of the master control center and the management of the two range integrity monitoring stations. In the center, the two major tasks of the MCC is the first of all, the monitoring and control of all the assets of the ground segment to uh, assure the availability, integrity and accuracy of the signal in space of EGNOS through the fault management process and all the part of isolation and recovery of the assets. The second major task is essentially the management of the data center in which the central processing facility makes all correction to data to uh, send the correct data through the three uh, geostationary satellites through the system again. As we can see here in the mission monitoring, we can see essentially all the representation of the ground segment of the assets of this EGNOS system through which we can see in light blue, all the 34 rims, the antennas, we can see the blue triangles that are the four MCCs that are interoperable and work on shift H24 seven days a week. We can see one in Champino, we can see one in Torreon in Spain, Langen in Germany, and Swanwick in Great Britain. We can also see in this mission monitoring all the NLS, the land, earth, land, uh, National Land Earth System, that are these yellow boxes. We have two here in Italy, one in Fucino and the other one in Scansano in Sicily. To handle all the fault management process, we can see in real time all the statuses of all the assets of the ground segment of EGNOS. We can see here the status of the 34 rims, if they are available, if they are uh, working fine, and if, it, if something's um, not working well, we uh, make a, we apply the procedure for the fault detection, isolation, recovery of the asset. We can see here even the CPF that all the statuses of the data centers in the four MCCs that make the calculation, the correction of the signal in space, and the statuses. We can also see in the four MCCs the availability of the master control centers, and at the same time, meanwhile, we can even see all the information about the NLS. At last, we can see here the statuses of the three satellites mid-range that make complete the whole architecture of the space segment. Which are the future developments of EGNOS system? Well, as today, in the 2nd March, the European Commission made available the EGNOS system for safety of life services, so it's ready for applica uh, aeronautical applications. So for all operations and route and uh, approach and position approaches, we can uh, start defining the procedures. There is even an interest uh, on making more uh, increasing to increase the coverage of the signal even in North Africa and Middle East through the extensions and implementation of new RIMS. 
essentially, let's say that the future uh, development will go in the direction of increasing the safety and the airport capacity through a system that will be able to be used in any airport even if uh, there are no conventional infrastructure for the position approach procedures. Essentially, the whole architecture can be in the future even an overlay system for the future Agnos in Galileo because today as the, as the overlay system on the GPS architecture is already available to meet all the requirements of the Galileo International System. And let's say that at last that in the uh, CESAR Single European Sky ATM Search Program, EGNO system supports already the operational concept of navigation for the 4D trajectory calculation that is the core of CESAR implementation.